What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Nima for those of you guys that are new. So today we're just gonna be talking, honestly it's gonna be kind of like a chatty get ready with me video, talking about quarantine, things that it tried to take from me, okay? It tried to take my spirit, y'all. Quarantine tried to take my spirit. I'm gonna be featuring the new Urban Decay Hall of Fame kit as well. I'm gonna be using everything in here, but not quite like you expect me to use some of these products. And I've also got some of their Perversion Mascara. This video is also in partnership with Magic Links. I'll have all the links to everything that I'm using down below. Let's go ahead and jump straight into this video and talk about how we're still in quarantine. <laughs> this wig actually looks really good for it not being um, HD lace. I'm pretty surprised. A lot of people were asking about this wig on Instagram, so I already know a lot of people are gonna ask on YouTube. It is from Tress Deco Wigs on Instagram. It's like the natural hair texture wig. Can't remember the name of the style. I think she had an S, it was an S name. I can't remember, but this, this is where I got it from. I'm really not sure why my skin is looking so dry. I did all my necessary skincare this morning, and I guess my skin is dry because it soaked it all the way up. I don't understand it. I'm gonna go ahead and prep with something a little bit thicker and more hydrating. I have the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base. I use it as a moisturizer when my skin is looking like this, when it looks like I didn't apply any skincare this morning. So I'm just gonna prep my skin. Bring this mirror close. Cool. I think you can see it in the frame, but oh well, it's, it is what it is. So this is the Cold Press Booster Multi-Use Oil from Dose of Colors. I'm just gonna apply a little bit. Okay, that looks good. This is the Nemo we know, okay. Not that drag girl that I started out with. Who is she? There we go. It's a good thing I keep an extra set of like skincare prep at the office because my skin was looking crazy just a little bit ago. Quarantine, quarantine, quarantine. I feel like this is also gonna be like a little bit of a mini follow-up on my therapy video, kinda, cause I'm gonna talk a little bit about that today. I feel like everyone started, out, started quarantine off kind of strong, kind of like, okay, we got this, you know, it started. <laughs> It was fun at first being home for like the first like month maybe. We were like, oh, we're at home. Everyone's chilling at home. I think everyone was like okay with the, with the idea of like being at home. Does that make sense? Then everything just went to hell in a hand basket, okay? I got a bunch of stuff from MAC as well that I'm gonna try today too. I'm gonna use the NW55 Studio Finish Concealer. That's this shade right here. Everyone probably had a moment in quarantine where they were like, sad, okay? <laughs> I like human interaction, I like talking to people, I like going out, I like um, that when I choose to. There's days where I'm like, no, I don't wanna do this today, but when I choose to, I like it, right? So when that was involuntarily taken away from me, it was kinda sad. And then at that point in time too, I was also riding heavily at Cycle House. I was riding almost like every day at Cycle House, which was nice and fun. And I enjoyed, I started enjoying cycling. Like it was just like no one's business. I loved it. I don't do it anymore because the energy is not the same. And even though I got a Peloton, it is a good piece of equipment to have when you don't have anything like during quarantine. It did not replace it. It was not like better than. Does that make sense? But you know, saving lives is more important. So that's that on that. Like, <laughs> although we don't like it, we still gonna do it. I started off very much so like, I got this. I got this. I don't mind staying at home. One of my favorite things to do when I'm like really, really stressed out is go to dinner by myself and go have a meal and order a glass of wine and chill at the bar. So when I couldn't even do that, I was sad, you guys. I'm not gonna lie, quarantine hit back and triggered that depression for me, I'm not gonna lie. And it's so crazy that I can actually talk about it now on YouTube because back when I started talking about depression with my therapist, it was the D word, okay? <laughs> That word didn't exist. I didn't care. I don't want to talk about it. I didn't have it, you know? This concealer is so orange and it scares me every time I use it, but it gets better, I promise. Now I'm using these palettes. I actually just picked these up from MAC. I have Extra Deep here. This is what it looks like. And then I have um, Deep here. I mixed these two shades to contour. I think MAC has always had these. They were um, exclusive to like the pro. You could only like get them if you were a pro makeup artist. Correct me if I'm wrong, cause I don't remember seeing these when I first started buying makeup. And MAC was like my go-to when it came to complexion products back then because it was very hard to find complexion products for my skin tone. Maybe five or six 
maybe more years ago when you had to have like a license. But I recently saw these on Twitter back around and I was like, let me go try that. So here we are. So anyways, back to quarantine and how it tried to steal my vibe and make me basic. I stopped doing my makeup. I just kind of like sunk into this like world of like the monotonous day to day, nothing was changing. And me being like an Aries and me being like also having ADHD, I get bored easily, very, very, very easily. Like I don't have time, like me sitting around is not conducive to my energy. Obviously that didn't go well, <laughs> which is fine, <laughs> which didn't help, but you know, I think for me, I was struggling with the idea of, oh, I need to be doing this, I need to be doing that. Like everyone was working out. Everyone's like, oh, this is what you can do during quarantine, da 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 da. And I'm like, I, 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 I can't, I, like I can't, I can't compute right now, you know? <laughs> because I was just like sad, stuck in the house. I'm like, this ain't fun. Today's video is basically just like a little pick me up. I just wanna like pick ourselves up together, do some hair, do some makeup and look cute. I think sometimes we forget the little, little things that can bring us to life in a sense, like that will pick us up and make us feel a little bit better. And for me, getting glam is one of those things. Like trying makeup techniques is one of those things for me. I neglected that when I was in quarantine. Whatever makes you happy. If you wanna put on a full face to go to Target, do that, you know? It's not like, like a mask friendly makeup video or makeup tutorial, but there are things that I'm gonna tweak because you know we are wearing masks and being safe and following guidelines. That's what I'm gonna be doing with you guys today. Hanging out, getting glam, and looking cute. I still freak myself out every time with this technique. <laughs> it's so funny. I'm just like, are you sure it's gonna come together? Every time I do it, I'm just like, mm, I don't know about this one. I don't know if it's gonna come together this time. I'm gonna give the Gucci Beauty Foundation one more shot. I'm gonna use the other shade though. I'm gonna use 570C. If you guys haven't seen this review yet, I did try this foundation recently and I did not like it. Well, I liked the finish, but I didn't like the shade that I used. Please don't make me look crazy. We don't have time for that. She looks good. Okay, we'll take it. I put too much foundation on though. Now that I'm like slowly dragging myself out of that funk though, I mean, obviously the new year helped. I think it's okay to use new things to kind of like bring you up, give you that little like energy boost. So the new year definitely helped, you know, it's like new year, new me, all that nonsense. <laughs> it's not nonsense, but you know, using that as a energy boost, but also really tapping into what is gonna make you, what's gonna keep me going after the new year ends. Cause you know, January only lasts so long. February is kind of like, Okay, you know, we also have Black History Month in February. In March, that New Year feeling starts to dwindle, okay? <laughs> it starts to go down. So it's like, I think it's good to hone in in January on the things that are going to keep you going for a long time. Like, what are you doing right now? I have actually been focusing on the things that I felt like I was starting off really great last year and then fell off, you know? Working out consistently, changing my workouts, because I noticed that when I was doing those high energy, high intensity bike rides, I'd come home and be exhausted, completely done. So now my workout's completely changed. I'm working out a completely different way um, that is conducive and beneficial and works with my energy levels throughout the day. Also, my work schedule gives me the time to create the kind of content I wanna create with the energy that I wanna create it with, you know? I'm much happier with my workout routine now than I was back then. Eventually I will share it. I think it's okay also to not share everything. Right now I'm just like focusing on like making sure it's working and continues to work and does not end in January cause like we're almost at the last week of January. We're trying to figure her out. I need slightly a bit more contour right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and set one underneath my eyes some setting powder. Oh yeah, that looks good. I've never been an at-home workout kind of girl. I like going to the gym. It inspires me, it motivates me, because I see everyone else that's in there getting it. I also like looking at people's, not progress, but like people that are consistent in the gym that have been consistent for years, their bodies are amazing. So that always inspires me when I'm in the gym and I'm just like, okay, I wanna do that, I want that, I want that, okay? So that's why I'm gonna go to the gym. At home workouts has never been a thing for me. Me and Tony both tried it at the beginning of quarantine. Tony kind of kept up with it and did better than me. <laughs> I struggled. <laughs> 
and fell off. And then I tried to get back on and it just never happened. I'm gonna take a little bit of the Laura Mercier honey. I'm gonna pack it right under here. Quarantine's not going anywhere. And like I said, staying at home for the sake of saving lives is a no brainer. No question, duh. I think people have been also so creative during quarantine. Like the people that are naturally just like high energy, just happy, 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 they all, always got that like good, good energy. They have been so creative. They've been able to figure some things out and I'm just like, the rest of us um, had a little bit of a harder time. I had a harder time towards the end of the year. So that's my face all nice and set with powder. I'm gonna go ahead and spray my face down with the all nighter that's in there. This is what the package looks like. This is actually a kit that they still have available right now. I'm just gonna use the mini all-nighter that's in here, this one right here. So we've got the all-nighter, we've got a perversion eyeliner right here, then the eyeshadow primer right here, which we're gonna be using as well, and then there's this lipstick. It's a really pretty red color, so I'm gonna go ahead and jump in with this one. This is a staple setting spray for like long wear, so I'm gonna go ahead and spray my face. This looks so good. I think this is one of the best like complexions that I didn't even have to take my foundation too far down to my neck. This looks so good. It's one of the best like complexion routines that I've had in a while. Yes. Okay. This is what my brows look like, you know, finesse to perfection. I love my brows. Like I love, 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 love the way I've been doing my brows. Like this is the most natural my brows can get because I ain't got no brows, okay? This is literally just like finessing what I got. And I am loving them. So if you guys haven't seen this technique or this video, you know, you know the drill. It's on there. It's on my channel somewhere. Hold on. Pause. I'm back. Okay, I forgot I wanted to change into the shirt that I'm wearing today, especially with this color on camera. Ooh, she's pretty. I'm gonna go ahead and prime my eyes with the Urban Decay eyeshadow primer. This is their original eyeshadow primer with the wand and apply it. I get greasy lids, like it's the one place in my face that's like wants to be greasy. I don't understand it, doesn't make sense to me, but here we are. So I'm just gonna prep my lids. I'm actually gonna try two layers of this today and see what that looks like. I've actually been watching a bunch of like pro makeup artists because I've been getting my makeup done a lot more. I did a photo shoot for a huge announcement that's gonna be coming very soon. I've been working with the same makeup artist uh, for a couple of times now and I kept asking him like tips and tricks cause I'm one of those people, you can always learn something, okay? <laughs> so I was, I oh, every time he does my makeup, um, I ask him like, oh, why do you do this? Why do you do that? You know, as someone that's self-taught in the makeup industry, I think that I'm always learning. I'm always learning new things. I didn't go to cosmetic school and I didn't like learn the special techniques that a lot of professional makeup artists learned. So whenever I get a chance, I always ask them like, why this, why that? You know, I think it's always good to keep learning on top of you know, asking him questions. I've also been watching like a bunch of different pro makeup artists. Like they do makeup on different skin tones, different skin types, young, old, and all that. Like, so I've been just like watching a bunch of those. One video, one person said to prime your eyes with an actual eyeshadow primer because they said eyelids are like the oiliest part of your face or something like that. So they get oily first, which Clearly, you guys saw mine. <laughs> so he was like, no, use an actual eyeshadow primer. Like don't use concealer because concealer is not gonna put that layer of, um, I guess this is wax kind of. I'm explaining it terribly, but the way that he explained it made sense to me. And I was like, okay, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try and go back to trying an eyeshadow primer, especially for my hooded eyes. I'm definitely gonna try and go back to using an eyeshadow primer. So that's why I'm using the Urban Decay today. On top of that, they're sponsoring today's video, so why not? The products in this kit have been staple products to Urban Decay, staple products to just the makeup industry as a whole for a very long time, so it's not like new products that I am putting you guys on. These have always been there, but you know, they serve a purpose for today's video. That one's a little splotchier than the other one. I wonder why I probably put too much on on this eye. I don't like that. I feel like that's gonna give me problems. So I'm gonna put just a tad to make sure that it does the same thing on both eyes. Cause I feel like it lifted. I don't know why this eye is doing that. Cause this eye looks like it's primed to perfection. Ugh. 
Y'all see my uh, throwing up gang signs eyelashes? What are y'all doing? I'm afraid that it's gonna not give me the same eyeshadow payoff on both sides. Let's just go with it. I'm gonna go ahead and just do a quick eyeshadow look. So I'm starting off with the bronzer shade. I'm just gonna pop that right in here and then blend that out to my crease area. I'm also following the natural like features that I have right here. I've been really loving the way that it looks right there and I'm gonna just blend that out over to my brow bone area-ish. This eye definitely is gonna be the good eye. I can already tell. I can already tell she's not gonna be difficult. Next, I'm actually going to go into this one. It's not too red, it's like, it's gonna give me exactly what I need it to give me right now, specifically. So I'm gonna take a small brush, this is Sephora Collection Pro Crease Brush. There we go, it's a really small brush and it's really good for my eye shape. So I'm gonna take that and just put that right there. I feel like quarantine did try and make us basic. Lounge wear every day, we couldn't dress up. Well, we could, but where are we going? I couldn't even get my nails done. I, You guys know, like right before quarantine-ish, I started doing like nail content, nail videos. Like if you don't follow me on Instagram, um, go ahead and follow me there because I have a little bubble with all of my nail content. I love my natural nails. I prefer my natural nails and painting them and then like putting just gel on them. That's my thing. I like to do that. But, you know, quarantine hit. My nail lady had to, you know, not take clients right away. I think they shut down everybody, you know? They shut down everybody, which is, this is not a video to complain about quarantine. <laughs> this is a video to show us that the basic things that quarantine made us do, the things that feel basic to us, doesn't have to not be glamorous and fun and cute and exciting. And that's what that's the way that I'm looking at it. Saving lives versus not saving lives. There's just no, no comparison. So, but I'm gonna stop saying that because this you guys already probably get the gist of this video. It's not to complain about like, I don't wanna stay inside while people are literally like fighting for their life, so. This is just to show us that the basic things that we have because of quarantine doesn't have to feel so basic and boring. <laughs> with masks, this entire part of our face is covered. So with eyes, you just have to try and play a little bit more with your eyes. But if you're like me, it's not my preference to do crazy eyeshadow looks. I prefer a more soft, smoky look or a soft glam. Nothing too, too dramatic because that's just me, you know? But since we couldn't play with the bottom half of our face, all I got are my eyes now to kind of like really have fun with because it's not gonna be covered. Playing up the eyes a little bit more is something that I have been doing and just having a little bit more fun with because I do have to hide the other part of my face. But also, how do I make it me? How do I make it Nima? And so I'm gonna show you guys what I'm doing today with my eyes. So I'm taking one of my favorite eyeshadow colors to put in my crease is red. It just suits my undertone. It just looks good. It's just always gonna look look good on my eyes. So I am blending that. Going back into that bronzer shade, just to make sure I don't have any harsh lines right here. And I'm just gonna buff, make sure it's not harsh, nothing too crazy. Like that, perfect. And in sticking with making it me, I'm not a five, six, seven, eight eyeshadow colors on the eyes kind of girl. I probably use like three, four, for max when it comes to eyeshadow, because like I said, I keep it very simple on my eyes, and my main star of the show for me is my base, my blush, my lips. Like I said, half of it's covered. <laughs> I need to put some powder down because I always make this mistake, and I'm not doing it today. Can you guys tell that I ate? My energy just skyrocketed. I'm so much happier. <laughs> Don't fight the need to eat. Don't be like me, okay? I always fight the need to eat, and then I'm like, I'm so tired. <laughs> now I've eaten, and I'm like, This will help us with the full out. So now I'm gonna go into this green shade right here. I'm gonna start on the outer part because I feel like that's where I can always fix it if I make a mistake. Oh, that's pretty. So I'm having some trouble with the top of the eye. I'm gonna try and see if I can lighten it with a different shade. So, 
that's what the eye is looking like right now. I'm not crazy about it. I'm gonna try and see if I can find something else to blend in between them. This blue right here, I'm gonna take just a little bit of it and I'm gonna pop it into the crease right there so that that darkness that I'm getting a little of that ring kind of makes sense and doesn't feel so misplaced or like unblended. Cause everywhere else is sitting nicely. It's just that weird little crease area right there. So I'm taking a little bit more of a smaller brush. I'm just gonna keep blending in there, right there. Yeah, that's helping that out a lot more. So now I just need to make sure that we're nice and blended and that this blue doesn't take over the red because the blue is making it a little bit too smoky and I don't want it to be a smoky eye. I just, I wanted it to be a bright eye look, but that blue is needed to blend them together. My nails are really thin and it requires someone that understands how to work with like really thin nails. I have fine hair, wherever hair grows on my body, it's super fine hair. Um, and I think that's kind of why, or it correlates with why my nails are so thin as well. So whenever I get my nails done, the person that does them, they have to be careful with over drilling my nails or else you're gonna like really damage my nails, like really, really bad. So I tried to do my nails at home, failed. All of my nails broke, all of them like literally broke off. They were so long and it made my heart so sad. That really sucked because it takes so long to grow natural nails out, like so long. I like the way that that looks right now. The only thing I'm gonna do for my bottom lash line is just that blue. Take that on the bottom and just stamp it. And then I'm gonna just take a little bit of that red and buff it out so it's not so harsh. Do I like that? I don't know, I don't know. It's a little too white for this one. Is this the same one? Oh yeah, this is Infinite Sands. Why does it look so white today? Hmm. Anyways, now it's time for eyeliner. I am gonna do a wing, cause why not? I'm gonna take this eyeliner from the Urban Decay Kit. It's a 24 seven glide on eye pencil and it's in the shade or the color perversion, which is like a really dark black. I'm gonna start on the inside. And since I have a hooded eye, on the inside right here is where I'm gonna get the most eyelid real estate out of an eyeliner look. Oh, now my eye trying to water already. We just started, girl, calm down. And this pencil glides so easy. I used to hate doing wings with a pencil because some of them tug, but this one does not tug at all. That looks so good. So with my eyeliners, obviously you guys see that I have a hooded eye, but you guys see how I stopped right there? Like I didn't take the thickness all the way. That's a no-go for hooded eyes. You ain't gonna have no eyelid real estate left, none. So I always stop like, I guess almost halfway, a little bit less than halfway. I still get the illusion of a wing, like a full wing, but like not, it doesn't take away all my eyelid real estate to connect the inner line that I did right here, I just lightly go on the top lid, just very lightly, like that. And that connects them. Perfect, okay. Hmm, for some reason, no, the mascara is gonna tie it together. I wanted to put black on the bottom, but no, the mascara is gonna tie it together and come through. So while we're here, let's go ahead and go in with the Perversion Mascara. My baby lashes, you know, they're trying, okay? They're trying. I have tiny little baby lashes. But I can tell that this mas mascara, mascara is pretty dark. <sighs> what do we think? Okay, I'm gonna take off just a little bit because the bottom lashes. Why did I just lose that thought? <laughs> what? What about the bottom lashes, Nima? Something about the bottom lashes. Oh, <laughs> that's what it was. For me, mascara really shines on my bottom lashes. That's what I know if a mascara is good or not. Cause on my top lashes, girl, on my bottom lashes, I don't know why for some reason they should just show up a little bit better. Okay, this looks so good, so good. This one, she's the one. She's the one, okay, she is the one. Let me trim her up. These are Lashylicious. Is the brand Lashylicious by Farah Pro Makeup? I think I bought them off of Instagram. 
video and I was like, ooh, those look really, they look like they have a really thin band and I wanna try them. And these are the Foxylicious Lash that I'm about to put on. So these lashes flare highest in the center. Can you guys see? They flare highest in the center, which is really, really flattering to my eye shape. So I'm gonna cut on both ends so that it keeps that natural center flare. Because if you cut too much on one side, then you lose the flare, and you're pretty much stuck with a cat eye lash, which is not what you wanted, if that's not what you wanted. See how it's still flaring in the center? Because I cut on both ends. I'm going into the last piece of the Hall of Fame kit. It's a red bullet lipstick in the shade Bad Blood, and it's a comfort matte finish. Although it is a comfort matte finish, it is still going to transfer like crazy into your mask. That's just, it is what it is. This is not a liquid lipstick. It's not gonna do what um, you think it's gonna do. So what I thought about doing with it today is I'm actually going to apply it to the back of my hand like that. And I'm gonna use it as blush because why not? Take a brush, pick it up. And since it's also a matte, it's not gonna be too shiny on my cheeks. And. That looks so good. Just cause we can't wear bullet lipsticks doesn't mean we can't put it anywhere else. <laughs> I think it was this side, I put too much right there. And then last place I love to put blush is just on the tip of the nose. So pretty. I'm gonna add my second coat of mascara to my bottom lashes. I don't do two on the top because I feel like I just mash it together with my falsies. <laughs> But on the bottom, I always do two. That way it helps balance out the falsies with my bottom lashes. This lash band is so thin. So now I'm gonna go ahead and pinch my lashes together. I'm obviously gonna go matte on the lips because you know, we're trying to keep it as mask friendly as possible. Not gonna be mask proof. So I'm gonna line my lips with black coffee from, and this is technically an eyeliner, but I use it as a lip liner because it doesn't show up as an eyeliner for me on my skin tone. As a lip liner, it's pretty decent. This is a lighter shade. This is in the Endless Cacao from Makeup Forever, their artist color pencil. And I'm just gonna fill in the center. I feel like out of everything, that's the one thing that's made me the saddest is matte lipstick because of mask. <laughs> Cause I love a good gloss, I really do. I'm not crazy about how this looks, so I'm just gonna keep blending it in. Gonna highlight the center of my nose. Oh yeah, I forgot with this look, I actually wanted to go back to trying an inner corner cause I haven't done that in so long. I'm gonna take this shimmery green there. I'm gonna pop that right in the inner corner. Yes, just do what I need you to do, okay? That's pretty. That just like elevated. Okay, so this is what it would look like with the mask. Eyes are doing what they need to do, okay? Look at this. I am obsessed. So I'm gonna give my face one last spray with the All Nighter Setting Spray. Try and cover my eyes so that it doesn't ruin my eyeshadow. That is our video. This is um, the final, final, final look. I love this House of CB sweat set. I don't know if I can stand up and you guys can still see me. Like, it is so cute. It looks like I tried. I had to roll up the top because I'm short <laughs> and it looked weird um, without it being rolled up. Honestly, I would like to go one more, but I think that's gonna look weird with the pockets. But yeah, this is the sweat. It looks like I tried. It looks like I put in a little bit of effort. It's still just like a matching sweat set. And yeah, so that is pretty much my little pick me up video about quarantine. But this is how I've been able to find little pieces of like heaven for me, little pieces of like, okay, well, you know, I can't work out at the cycle house anymore. I had to figure out ways to work out for myself, which also now made me realize that the way that I was working out before wasn't conducive to my lifestyle and the things that I needed to do throughout the day. I was working out way too hard in the morning, burning all of my energy and not having en enough energy to do the rest of the things throughout the day. So now that's 
that's changed. You really can't see this place, so I've been playing more with my eyes and different eyeshadow looks, and I'm stuck in the house wearing sweats all day. I might as well wear a cute set of sweats that match and look like I put in the slightest amount of effort. Thank you to Magic Links and Urban Decay for sponsoring today's video. Look at that lipstick as a blush, the eyeliner. Look at it, look at it, it just looks so good. These are all staple products that are already have existed within Urban Decay. They just put them in a cute little gift set. I'll have all the links down below, like I said. That's pretty much it. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Make sure you go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Thank you guys so much for watching. Lots of love, and I will see you guys next time.